Buenos Aires is the capital and largest city of Argentina, and the second largest metropolitan area in South America. It is located on the western shore of the estuary of the Rio de la Plata, on the continent's southeastern coast. The Greater Buenos Aires Conurbation, which also includes several Buenos Aires province districts, constitutes the third largest conurbation in Latin America, with a population of around 15.5 million. The city of Buenos Aires is neither part of Buenos Aires province nor the province's capital, rather, it is an autonomous district. In 1880, after decades of political infighting, Buenos Aires was federalized and removed from Buenos Aires province. The city limits were enlarged to include the towns of Belgrano and Flores, both are now neighborhoods of the city. The 1994 constitutional amendment granted the city autonomy, hence its formal name, Ciudad Autónoma de Buenos Aires. Its citizens first elected a chief of government in 1996 before the mayor was directly appointed by the president of the republic. The Battle of the River Plate took place in waters by Buenos Aires in December 1939, making it the first naval battle in the Second World War, and the first one of Battle of the Atlantic Buenos Aires is, along with Mexico City and Sao Paulo, one of the three Latin American cities considered an alpha city by the study GAWC-5. Buenos Aires' quality of life was ranked 81st in the world and one of the best in Latin America in 2012, with its per capita income among the three highest in the region. It is the most visited city in South America and the second most visited city across Spanish Latin America. It is also one of the most important, largest and most populous of South American capitals, often referred to as the Paris of Americas. Buenos Aires is a top tourist destination, and is known for its European-style architecture and rich cultural life. With the highest concentration of theatres in the world, Buenos Aires held the first Pan American Games in 1951 as well as hosting two venues in the 1978 FIFA World Cup. Buenos Aires will host the 2018 Summer Youth Olympics. People from Buenos Aires are referred to as poor tennis. The city is the birthplace of the current Pope, Francis, and of Queen Maxima of the Netherlands. Buenos Aires defines itself as a multicultural city, being home to multiple ethnic and religious groups. Also, several languages are spoken in the city in addition to Spanish, contributing to its culture and the dialect spoken in the city and in some other parts of the country. This is because in the last 150 years the city, and the country in general, has been a major recipient of millions of immigrants from around the world, especially from Europe, Asia and Latin America, making it a melting pot where several ethnic groups live together and being considered as one of the most diverse cities in Latin America. Etymology the original name was given by the Spanish sailors that arrived in the River de la Plata, by the blessings of the Santa Maria de los Buenos Aires, the Holy Virgin Mary of the Good Winds, that gave them the good winds to reach the coast of what is today the city of Buenos Aires. In the first foundation of Buenos Aires, Pedro de Mendoza called the city Holy Mary of the Fair Winds a name chosen by the chaplain of Mendoza's expedition, a devotee of the Virgin of Buen Air. Mendoza's settlement soon came under attack by indigenous people, and was abandoned in 1541. For many years, the name was attributed to Sancho del Campo, who is said to have exclaimed, How fair are the winds of this land, as he arrived. But Eduardo Madero, in 1882 after conducting extensive research in Spanish archives, ultimately concluded that the name was closely linked with the devotion of the sailors to Our Lady of Buen Air. A second settlement was established in 1580 by Juan de Garay, who sailed down the Parana River from Asuncion. Garay preserved the name chosen by Mendoza, calling the city Ciudad de la Santísima Trinidad y Puerto de Santa Maria del Buen Air. The short form, Buenos Aires, became the common usage during the 17th century. The usual abbreviation for Buenos Aires in Spanish is BES, as 
It is common as well to refer to it as B.A. or Bar by E.B.I. The Catalan missionaries and Jesuits that arrived under the Spanish crown, recorded under the archives of Aragonese when they conquered Cagliari. Sardinia from the Pisans in 1324, they established their headquarters on top of a hill that overlooked the city. The hill was known to them as Buen Air, as it was free of the foul smell prevalent in the old city, which is adjacent to Swampland. During the siege of Cagliari, the Aragonese built a sanctuary to the Virgin Mary on top of the hill. In 1335, King Alfonso the Gentle donated the church to the Mercedarians, who built an abbey that stands to this day. In the years after that, a story circulated, claiming that a statue of the Virgin Mary was retrieved from the sea after it miraculously helped to calm a storm in the Mediterranean Sea. The statue was placed in the abbey. Spanish sailors, especially Andalusians, venerated this image and frequently invoked the fair winds to aid them in their navigation and prevent shipwrecks. A sanctuary to the Virgin of Buen Air would be later erected in Seville. History Colonial times seaman Juan Díaz de Solis, navigating in the name of Spain, was the first European to reach the Rio de la Plata in 1516. His expedition was cut short when he was killed during an attack by the native Charua tribe in what is now Uruguay. The city of Buenos Aires was first established as Ciudad de Nuestra Señora Santa Maria del Buen Air after Our Lady of Bonaria on 2 February 1536 by a Spanish expedition led by Pedro de Mendoza. The settlement founded by Mendoza was located in what is today the San Telmo district of Buenos Aires, south of the city center. More attacks by the indigenous people forced the settlers away, and in 1542 the site was abandoned. A second settlement was established in 1580 by Juan de Garay, who arrived by sailing down the Parana River from Asuncion. He dubbed the settlement Santisima Trinidad and its port became Puerto de Santa Maria de los Buenos Aires from its earliest days. Buenos Aires depended primarily on trade. During most of the 17th and 18th centuries, Spanish ships were menaced by pirates. So they developed a complex system where ships with military protection were dispatched to Central America, cross the land, from there to Lima. Peru and from it to the inner cities of the Viceroyalty. Because of this, products took a very long time to arrive in Buenos Aires, and the taxes generated by the transport made them prohibitive. This scheme frustrated the traders of Buenos Aires, and a thriving contraband industry developed. This also instilled a deep resentment in poor tennis towards the Spanish authorities. Sensing these feelings, Charles III of Spain progressively eased the trade restrictions and finally declared Buenos Aires an open port in the late 18th century. The capture of Porto Bello by British forces also fueled the need to foster commerce via the Atlantic route, to the detriment of Lima-based trade. One of his rulings was to split a region from the Viceroyalty of Peru and create instead the Viceroyalty of the Rio de la Plata, with Buenos Aires as the capital. However, Charles's placating actions did not have the desired effect, and the poor tennis, some of them versed in the ideology of the French Revolution, became even more convinced of the need for independence from Spain. War of Independence During the British invasions of the Rio de la Plata, British forces attacked Buenos Aires twice. In 1806 the British successfully invaded Buenos Aires, but an army from Montevideo led by Santiago de Liniers defeated them. In the brief period of British rule, the Viceroy Rafael Sobremonte managed to escape to Córdoba and designated this city as capital. Buenos Aires became the capital again after its liberation, but Sobremonte could not resume his duties as Viceroy. Santiago de Liniers, chosen as new Viceroy, prepared the city against a possible new British attack and repelled the attempted invasion of 1807. The militarization generated in society changed the balance of power favorably for the Criollos. 
as well as the development of the Peninsular War in Spain. An attempt by the Peninsular merchant Martin de Alzaga to remove Liniers and replace him with a junta was defeated by the Criollo armies. However, by 1810 it would be those same armies who would support a new revolutionary attempt, successfully removing the new viceroy Baltasar Hidalgo de Cisneros. This is known as the May Revolution, which is now celebrated as a national holiday. This event started the Argentine War of Independence, and many armies left Buenos Aires to fight the diverse strongholds of royalist resistance. With varying levels of success, the government was held first by two juntas of many members, then by two triumvirates, and finally by a unipersonal office, the Supreme Director. Formal independence from Spain was declared in 1816, at the Congress of Tucumán. Buenos Aires managed to endure the whole Spanish-American Wars of Independence without falling again under royalist rule. Historically, Buenos Aires has been Argentina's main venue for liberal, free trade and foreign ideas, while many of the provinces, especially to the northwest, advocated a more nationalistic and Catholic approach to political and social issues. Much of the internal tension in Argentina's history, starting with the centralist-federalist conflicts of the 19th century, can be traced back to these contrasting views. In the months immediately following the 25th of May Revolution, Buenos Aires sent a number of military envoys to the provinces with the intention of obtaining their approval. Many of these missions ended in violent clashes, and the enterprise fueled tensions between the capital and the provinces. In the 19th century the city was blockaded twice by naval forces by the French from 1838 to 1840, and later by an Anglo-French expedition from 1845 to 1848. Both blockades failed to force the city into submission, and the foreign powers eventually desisted from their demands. Modern history During most of the 19th century, the political status of the city remained a sensitive subject. It was already capital of Buenos Aires province, and between 1853 and 1860 it was the capital of the seceded state of Buenos Aires. The issue was fought out more than once on the battlefield, until the matter was finally settled in 1880 when the city was federalized and became the seat of government. With its mayor appointed by the president, the Casa Rosada became the seat of the president. Health conditions in poor areas were negative, with high rates of tuberculosis. Public health physicians and politicians typically blamed both the poor themselves and their ramshackle tenement houses for the spread of the dreaded disease. People ignored public health campaigns to limit the spread of contagious diseases, such as the prohibition of spitting on the streets, the strict guidelines to care for infants and young children, and quarantines that separated families from ill loved ones. In addition to the wealth generated by the Buenos Aires customs and the fertile pampas, railroad development in the second half of the 19th century increased the economic power of Buenos Aires as raw materials flowed into its factories, a leading destination for immigrants from Europe, particularly Italy and Spain. From 1880 to 1930 Buenos Aires became a multicultural city that ranked itself with the major European capitals. The Colon Theatre became one of the world's top opera venues, and the city became the regional capital of radio, television, cinema, and theatre. The city's main avenues were built during those years and the dawn of the 20th century saw the construction of South America's then-tallest buildings and the first underground system. A second construction boom from 1945 to 1980 reshaped downtown and much of the city. Buenos Aires also attracted migrants from Argentina's provinces and neighboring countries. Shanty towns started growing around the city's industrial areas during the 1930s. 
leading to pervasive social problems and social contrasts with the largely upwardly mobile Buenos Aires population. These laborers became the political base of Peronism, which emerged in Buenos Aires during the pivotal demonstration of 17 October 1945, at the Plaza de Mayo. Industrial workers of the Greater Buenos Aires Industrial Belt have been Peronism's main support base ever since and Plaza de Mayo became the site for demonstrations and many of the country's political events on 16 June 1955. However, a splinter faction of the Navy bombed the Plaza de Mayo area, killing 364 civilians. This was the only time the city was attacked from the air, and the event was followed by a military uprising which deposed President Perón. Three months later, in the 1970s the city suffered from the fighting between left-wing revolutionary movements and the right-wing paramilitary group AAA, supported by Isabel Perón, who became president of Argentina in 1974 after Juan Perón's death. The March 1976 coup, led by General George Videla, only escalated this conflict. The Dirty War resulted in 30,000 desaparecidos. The silent marches of their mothers are a well-known image of Argentines suffering during those times. The dictatorship's appointed mayor, Osvaldo Cacciato Re, also drew up plans for a network of freeways intended to relieve the city's acute traffic gridlock. The plan, however, called for a seemingly indiscriminate raising of residential areas and, though only three of the eight planned were put up at the time, they were mostly obtrusive raised freeways that continue to blight a number of formerly comfortable neighborhoods to this day. The city was visited by Pope John Paul II twice, in 1982, and a second visit in 1987, which gathered some of the largest crowds in the city's history. The return of democracy in 1983 coincided with a cultural revival, and the 1990s saw an economic revival, particularly in the construction and financial sectors. On 17 March 1992 a bomb exploded in the Israeli embassy, killing 29 and injuring 242. Another explosion, on 18 July 1994 destroyed a building housing several Jewish organizations, killing 85 and injuring many more. These incidents marked the beginning of Middle Eastern terrorism to South America. Following a 1993 agreement, the Argentine constitution was amended to give Buenos Aires autonomy and rescinding, among other things. The president's right to appoint the city's mayor. On 30 June 1996, voters in Buenos Aires chose their first elected mayor. On 30 December 2004 a fire at the Republica Cro-Magnon nightclub killed almost 200 people. One of the greatest non-natural tragedies in Argentine history. On the 22nd of February 2012, a train crashed at one station. 51 people were killed and more than 700 were injured. The dead and seriously injured were in the first two carriages, which was packed with people who had moved to the front of the train to be near the station exit on arrival.